That one's just giving me static. Oh, here we go. So that's cool. It's kind of like a scrambled voice, kind of a ghost voice. It's giving us coordinates. If I were to type those into Google, I could find out more of what was going on there. But all these Easter eggs have been done in the past, so, you know, it's nothing you haven't seen before. All right, so we know that the grenades are not in there. There's got to be a place on the wall somewhere for grenades. It's just got to be. Maybe they're out here in storage, which would suck. I don't want to have to come all the way over here every time I need grenades. Sorry that this, this is something I have to do, though. I mean, clearly I'm about to run out of ammo, and we're nowhere near a dog round. I think the next dog round will be round 14, so, <laughs> yeah, we're kind of in that situation now. You serious? Like, where the fuck are the grenades at on this map? Where are you? Well, I guess you don't have to do those things in order. So I'm just randomly pushing... Um, not, I know there's a bookshelf somewhere that'll laugh like crazy if you go up and click it. Um, I don't know where grenades are at. This is a problem. I might have to tweet it out. In a minute or two, but whatever. Oh, Carpenter, I thought I got a max ammo. I'm like, that would have been sweet. No such luck, though. And I don't think there's a melee weapon I can buy either on this game. Hey, stop it. It would be nice to have the Bowie knife on this. Why aren't you fuckers dying? You have no legs. There we go. Asian zombies are the smartest kind of zombies. There you go. We're almost out of this. I got so many points now. I can go get stamina up real quick. I'm sorry, not stamina up. Um, <laughs> stamina up. Speed cola. From over here. I kind of remember, where the hell are these grenades at? They've got to be somewhere in this building. Are they back here hidden? No. It might be upstairs. I never really even checked up there, did I? I've probably passed them a few times and you guys are like, Come on, man, you're right there. You're right there. But. Aha. Haha. <laughs> there they are. Okay. The search for grenades are over. Let me tweet out to my fans on the Twitter machine if I'm allowed to buy a mule kick and hit a third gun out of the box, thus making this a three um, box or a th yeah, three box challenge. So my internet's not on right now. I mean, it's on, but I, my browser's not open. So let's just wait a minute. I'll tweet at him. Round eleven, the, the the round that will never end because I'm fucking around too much. All right, let's open Twitter. Okay. All right, Twitter's open. I think I'm far enough away from that crawl crawler. Let me go ahead and um, uh, do, 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 do. can I buy mule kick? Uh, kick on two box challenge uh, comma making this sorry I'm typing with one finger right now because my other hands on the controller I'm kind of nervous about this fucking zombie uh, making this a three box challenge Okay, question mark, and tweet. All right, and we'll just start the next round, and we'll wait for some replies to come in. And that's another benefit of following me on Twitter, guys. As you can see, now my Twitter followers are involved with this gameplay, which is really cool. Good news is we know where grenades are at now. 
They're in a shady spot, though. I mean, I gotta go up there and then come back down the stairs. So I'm gonna have to open up those stairs at some point. Because I'll get stuck up there if I just go up there and try to come back down the stairs that I came up. I'll have to go down the other stairs. Let's go, zombies. Let's go. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. So what do you guys think um, the next map is going to be for the map pack that we'll be getting soon? Not soon, but... All right, so what is it? It's uh, middle of May. What is it? The 12th? So yeah, about the middle of May right now. And uh, I assume PlayStation 3 you guys got. Did you guys get Mob of the Dead yet? Or are you getting it this week maybe in a couple of days? I don't know. But uh, either way, um, you'll be getting it soon. Which means we, on the Xbox, I play both. As you can see, I'm playing on PS3 right now. Um, on the Xbox, we should be getting a new DLC in another month and a half or so. And so, what would it be? I think that a pirate ship har, would be awesome. Could you imagine just a giant wooden pirate ship out in the middle of the sea? Stormy waves, the boat's rocking. Could be kind of, that could be kind of annoying, though. Maybe the storm shows up every five rounds and it's just the, the boat becomes extremely violent. So, hey, guys, this is how I'm going to conserve ammo, by the way, until we get to a dog round. So let's take him over here and activate this flogger. Let's play baseball, try to catch a zombie. Oh, catch him. Oh, my God. Hilarious. Best trap ever. Now I got to watch them. They'll start spawning behind me in a second. And the trap will still be on, so I won't be able to leave this area. So I got to be careful. But as you can see, that is clearly the best trap in this entire... I mean, this is fucking awesome. All right, Trap, I need you to stop spinning so I can leave this area. Thank you, Trap. The flogger, dude. That's going to save me ammo. That's how I'm going to get to my dog rounds when I'm in this situation. Unless my Twitter followers tell me I can buy a mule kick and make this a three-box challenge. In which case, I'll have to change the title of the video. Yo. Remember, I got to keep 20 shells... For my dog round. Because how the hell else am I going to kill those things? Oh, this is awesome. This is what I needed. We're going to be knifing some zombies now. Come on. Right, I think this round's coming to an end. Should Yep, there we go. Round 13. Let me check my... Um, anybody awake yet? Anybody responding? Let's see. Oh, good. Internet's just... Alright, so I've got a couple of interesting... Alright, hang on. Let me deal with this dog round. I'll read these uh, Twitter responses to you. Remember, this is exactly why I wanted to save, save some shotgun shells. Otherwise, just imagine trying to kill these fuckers. I have bouncing baddies, so I would have been able to kill a couple. Oh, shit. Excuse me. Oh, get off of me. Okay. Almost out of shells. Looks like I got one more dog to kill. We're going to be able to get through this just fine. All right. Reload. Plant this. Plant this. Grab this. Plant this. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Plant this one. Damn it. I don't think I did it in time. Shit. I was trying to get four on the ground and then get two more before the round started. Okay. Well, we'll make a crawl and we'll read those Twitter responses after this round. How about that? Now's not a good time to stop and start reading. Welcome back to the party, CZ75s. Oh, I'm getting punched. I'm getting punched. Oh, yes. Got a gauntlet of fucking um, bouncing Bettys right there. The CZs are starting to get weak. Not too weak. They're fine. So, yeah, giant pirate ship, guys. So, maybe every few rounds, 
like a storm comes and the seas get really high and the boat's just shaking and rocking. And maybe that's your special round. You know how most of these zombies have, map have some sort of boss round. So maybe that's the boss round. The Kraken comes out. There's got to be a Kraken involved, by the way. And um, you've got to do some damage to the Kraken to make it go back in the water. And then the seas will calm back down again. So that'd be a really cool boss round. You know, these giant tentacles come out and you just shoot them. You know, they'll, they'll do damage to you. So you got to be careful. Maybe they pick up items and try to throw it at you while you're on the deck of the boat. Um, in addition to that, the plank... All right, so you got the plank. Um, I don't really know what will happen to the plank. Maybe you've got to uh, walk the plank and you fall into a little dinghy, uh, a small boat, and that boat takes you to a very small island where Pack-a-Punch is located. That might be too similar to Mob of the Dead, though, so they'd have to tweak that. Um, you'd obviously have the deck, which would be a very large space filled with barrels and cannons. Oh, yeah, we've got to have some cannons. So maybe you can do something with the cannons as well. You know, maybe there's a cannon on deck and you shoot it and you can take out a horde of zombies, but... Um, you know, the, the fuse has to go, uh, so that takes a while. So people won't take advantage of that aspect of it. You know, it'd be like a 20 second fuse. So you'd have to rape train, light the fuse, and then just run around until it blows up. That way you can't just sit there and keep spamming a cannon at zombies. Um, so there's an idea. Uh, down below deck, of course, is where the guys sleep at. Um, so you're going to have some cots and, and some hammocks. Um, below that, maybe there's a dungeon where you put prisoners and shit. So that's three levels right there. And then on the deck as well, let's not forget about ropes that you can swing on to get from one side of the deck to the other. Uh, there's got to be the captain's wheel. There's going to be something you can cool that you can do with that. Uh, I'm forgetting stuff. I mean, my, my brain's just working here. Oh, sweet. More max ammo. Um, of course... I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So every pirate ship has the crow's nest. If you're not sure what a crow's nest is, it's, you know, that long uh, rope ladder that everyone climbs up. And then they go up top to this little circular thing that they sit in. And they take out their telescope and land ho, Captain. Yeah, that guy that sits up there. So there'll be a crow's nest. And you climb up there. And maybe uh, a perk's way up there. That's kind of hard to get to. Because once you're up there, you know, you don't want a bunch of zombies jumping up there. And then you're kind of screwed in this little three foot by three foot section so there'll be a swinging rope so you can get down from there really quickly or a zip line of some sort but that's my pirate ship idea for the next zombie map you guys tell me if you're down with that and just think of the cool weapons obviously a melee weapon would be some sort of sword but there's some badass pirate handguns back in the day um so maybe even a mini maybe a mini hand cannon of some sort for a for a new wonder weapon uh so th there's an idea. You guys let me know what ideas you have for the next zombie map. And uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. We'll all have fun with this. Tell me if you think that's a good idea. Tell me if that's something you'd like to play on. I know for sure that I would love to play on that. And then the characters could be famous. Since apparently we're never going to play as Richtoff and Dempsey, Takio, or Nikolai again. Which I hope we do. But maybe the, char the characters could be famous pirates. You know, Blackbeard. And uh, man, fucking throw Jack Sparrow in there while we're at it. Because that would be hilarious. Although I'm sure Disney would not appreciate that. But uh, just some thoughts. And uh, you never know. I might do one of those videos and put it on Chaos's channel. Like, you know, theories for the next map. And I'll talk about what I just now talked about. And uh, let's go by Speed Cola. Finally. And I might do a video on Chaos's channel, uh, kind of doing the same thing, just explaining my theory on the next, or maybe the next map that I'd like to see, kind of a thing. And what's cool about that, let me tell you, when I first started putting videos on Chaos Silencer's channel, he had 25,000 subscribers. Now, just to tell you what kind of growth this guy's had, I think he's at a quarter of a million, like 250,000 now. All right, and I've been putting videos on his channel for about... Let's see. My first video probably was September, October I put on his channel. So November, December, or October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So like like seven or eight months. And this guy has gone from 25,000 to 250,000. That's some awesome growth. And I'm so happy to have been a part of it. And, you know, through that I've gotten a lot of subs that are from his channel. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will say, you know, I came from Jenny's channel. But um, yeah, I appreciate that. That's so cool. But my point to that is when your channel starts getting that kind of following 
And it's not like he's, he doesn't have a dead channel. Like these are all new subs and his channel's growing big time. And so he gets a lot of views per video and he gets a lot of attention. And so you never know who is going to run across one of his videos. So maybe the folks from Treyarch might see my idea for a pirate zombie map with all those cool ideas I just brought up. And you never know. They might see it and maybe in a future zombie DLC or maybe uh, another year from now when they put out the next Treyarch thing, we might have ourselves a pirate zombie map. And how cool would that be? Very cool. I'll answer for you. Meanwhile, we've made it to round 15. I forgot to make a crawler and check my Twitter, uh, my Twitter shit, so <laughs> we're going to check that out after this round, I promise. Totally forgot about that. You get me starting talking and I, I don't stop. Oh shit. Oh shit. Lag it. Lag it. Run. Oh my god, we made it out. <laughs> Holy fuck shit. Retarded. How did I not get that? That shit was right in front of me. I ran right through it. I don't know if I want to get it though, because like I said, I want to. I want to leave a crawler for the next round. And once again, we're almost out of CZ-75 bullets. All right, let's go ahead and pick it up. Maybe we won't kill them all. Maybe it'll leave me a couple. Come on, leave me a couple, game. Yes, we still have a couple. In fact, they're still spawning. I don't hear a crawler, so I don't think I made one. It's alright, we've got three more chances at that. Alright, let's try again. Should have a nice little pile behind me by now. Not really. I want a crawler. Thank you. Thank you. Yes! I needed that. I needed that. You calm down, buddy. It would actually help if I hit the fucking target. Okay. What we're going to do? Oh, yeah, we're going to check my Twitter shit. I'm going to get away from these crawlers real quick. Go over here. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 new interactions. So we're going to have some suggestions here. Okay. I guess the third should be a wall gun. Okay. So that's a yes, and they think that the third should be a wall gun. The next guy says, uh, oh, that's a retweet. Oh, that doesn't help. Thank you, though. Great idea, says this person. So that's another yes. I would say you can only if you run out of ammo on the first two guns. Okay, that's interesting. So it's a yes. When I run out of ammo on both guns, then I can go buy a uh, mule kick and do it. So, okay, that's what we'll do. We'll wait for me to, well, let me read the rest first. I can't just go with that. Yeah, there might be even a better idea. So that's three yeses, though. Uh, four yeses. Just got a straight-up yes on that one. Is this on grief or die rise? Why the hell would you think either of those things are something I'm doing right now? I've been tweeting out all week that, I've been, um, that I'll be doing uh, a challenge on Shino Numa, so I just assume they knew that's the map. But grief? I never play grief. Get out of here with that. And then Swifty says, only if you punch yourself in the nutsack. That's a yes. Max Burns says yes. You Mad Jamaica says third gun has to be a wall gun. Kyle Evans, Mr. Farico himself says uh, yes. So everybody says yes. But a couple of people want it to be wall guns. And then for me, that kind of defeats the purpose. Because then I can always go back and buy and buy. I can always go back and buy ammo if it's a wall gun. So I'm going to say no on the wall gun idea, although a few of you suggested it. That's a no. Because that defeats the purpose of the challenge at that point. Um... I'm going to go with what that one guy said. He said, yes, you can buy Mule Kick, but only after you run out of uh, ammo in your first two. So I'll keep playing as I have been playing, and when I run out of ammo, then I will go buy Mule Kick, and then I will go hit the box for my third and final gun, making this a three-box challenge. What I want to do, though... Okay. I want to open this up. Because I can then now run up here. Get grenades. Boom! And then come down this way while the zombies are still coming up that first flight of stairs. And voila, we are safe. That's what we'll do. All right, so now we've got a nice little safe route to collect um, grenades. Now, let's kill this last zombie 
and we will uh, get started with the next round. Yes. 